Okay guys, uh, this week I'm uh, just going to be doing a brief review of a uh, figure that I um, bought uh, recently um, by a company, um, Soldier Story and uh, it's a man in suit with advanced uh, narrow body um, aka um, Obadiah Stane in uh, the original um, Iron Man film uh, first one and uh, yeah, as I say this is um, you got toys or in spare or anything, it's um, actually a figure um, made by a soldier story. Um, they usually make military figures and stuff like that. Um, but uh, they had a break from this. Uh, it's actually um, a Singapore um, uh, Games and Comic Convention exclusive in 2010. Um, but I actually I picked him up from a retailer in uh, the UK, um, Eagle Eyes. Uh, so yeah, um, as I say, um, it's not a licensed product, so that's why it's called a man in a suit. But um, to uh, anyone in the know, it's obviously um, uh, supposed to be um, Jeff Bridges as Obadiah Stane in the um, first Iron Man movie. And yeah, uh, not a bad figure all in all. Um, body's uh, fairly nice, um, articulated quite well, um, similar to um, Hot Toys body in design. Um, the hands. Uh, are um, on ball pegs and um, it's a ball peg but a slightly different design for the feet um, I've actually uh, changed the shoes on this guy because um, the shoes that he came with um, were pretty naff to say the least so um, but I'll show you them in uh, a minute when I show you all the stuff you, that you get um, which is not a lot at all um, you just see his holding a little cigar there between his fingers and um, I think that's just about the only accessory that you get with this guy but he only got, cost me um, about £60 um, so not too bad all in all. Um, not a bad sculpt at all of um, Jeff Bridges. Um, it's old uh, Obadiah Strain. Um, of course not. It's even got a little pain um, on the side of the head. Um, my only little criticism is um, maybe this was licensed in issues or something. But the um, the beard is um, obviously uh, should be um, like grey really. Um, so I don't know. I might. Um, so I'd like to see if I can colour that up myself to make it look a bit more accurate. But yeah, all in all, quite a nice figure. And um, I decided to review him because um, Hot Toys um, upcoming um, much delayed Iron Monger um, one six figure um, will be coming out shortly, possibly in the next thirty days. And um, got that on pre-order, so this is a nice little. Um, not sure because uh, you get the um, separate head sculpt of um, Obadiah with that figure um, so I might be able to plunk it on this guy's head uh, when I've got the mongrel all closed and stuff like that but um, I'll just wait and see so yeah I'll just show you um, box uh, let's just see out the sleeve pretty, um, pretty dinky box really but he only has to hold the figure really as I said there's not any real accessories to talk of um, so that just slips off like that, it's pretty nice. As you can see, quite small dimensions. Uh, just have to put it down a bit. Okay, uh, so you just get the um, standard phone packaging, protecting the figure, um, you get his belt. Um, I did put it on, but um, kind of like made it. It's quite a large belt on it. Um, I like made his um, waist jut out a bit too much for my liking, so so I just take it off and um, you can get the uh, two little more hands. As you can see, it's a slightly different design um, from your Hot Toys hands. Um, quite a long peg on them. So that's all that you get in the way of accessories. Um, so. All really, uh, but you know, nice enough, and I, I was kind of like cool with that anyway. And as I say, I, I changed the shoes um, because um, they were pretty naff to say the least. So I just got some other. Um, he does actually come with feet and stuff like that, so you can just um, slip the um, shoes on, um, heat them up a little bit uh, with a hair dryer or something, and then slip them on. Quite nice. So yeah. Have a look at that skull, which I think is not bad at all. As I say, I might just need to um, colour the beard up like a more grey colour um, for it to look a little bit more accurate. Um, but I'll just um, get my Tony Stark and um, 
I know one of my Iron Man's as well, just to um, uh, stand uh, next to him. Okay, so I've um, just got a couple of extra figures. Um, uh, my custom kit bashed uh, Tony Stark, uh, Downey Jr. and um, the Mark 1 2.0. And um, as you can see, uh, Hope Dyer is um, not like a massive figure. Um, it's got uh, it's quite short compared to my um, like Terminator and guy like that. So um, uh, I think he could do it maybe being a little bit taller because um, I think Tony Jr. is only about 5'8". Or something like that, according to his um, internet movie database, and Jeff Bridges um, is six one, so maybe you could do with being a bit taller. But that, no, that's not too bad actually. Um, I can get away with that. And yeah, uh, that's Mark One. Nice, nice epic figure. Great head sculpt. Look down, Junior. Fantastic. Uh, little briefcase from the Mark Five. And yeah, so. Um, but an uh, inexpensive um, alternative to the Ironmonger, um, which is um, quite a lot of money. Um, if you just want that guy, um, I might need to fiddle around with his shirt a little bit, um, or his suit rather. Um, but yeah, um, I'm quite happy with him, and for £60 you can't really complain. Stuff like that, and uh, so I'll just colour up that beard. Um, a bit of grey colour, if I can. Uh, mix white and black together and uh, yeah it should be uh, looking pretty sweet so um, yeah I uh, couldn't find any real like, reviews of this guy um, online so um, I thought I'd put it up um, maybe a bit of a sleeper figure because um, I think it's not too bad at all um, as I say um, a lot of people don't seem to um, be aware of it or whatnot so um, yeah I uh, hope you enjoyed that guys, a little review yeah, happy collecting.